Neighbors, you were supposed to meet your friend at 1 o'clock. It's 1.05 and then you get the text message. Hey man, I'm running a little late. I think like 1.35ish. But you know that friend's gonna arrive at 1.45. But your stomach is growling. It's, you're, you're starting to get hangry. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make the world's simplest fried rice. Save this in the back of your mind and then next time you know that friend who's always 45 minutes late, that, that text message comes, just make this five minutes, get your stomach filled, and you won't be hangry. You'll just be chill. Only one thing to chop. Looks like a forearm sized piece of spring onion to me. We're gonna chop this into small circles. Now most Korean fried rice, we use spring onions to flavor the oil. Uncle Roger seems to think it's only for toppings. Hiya! Then my friends, we're gonna drop in one cup of cooked rice. In Korea, we're always using short grain rice. I like to spread this out just a little bit. And then we're gonna give it a nice golden color. And to do that, we're gonna use only the egg yolk. So carefully crack this open. I can just go through my fingers. Peekaboo. Good. We're gonna use two egg yolks. Can I get another? Hiya. Break these two up and then just mix it in. We wanna get every single rice grain covered in this golden color. That's what's gonna make it look beautiful. Then we're gonna add in half a tablespoon of vegetable oil. We're gonna already add it into this mixture. That way when the rice grains fry, they don't clump up and you get individual grains. Flame on, very nice. And then Katie bought a new frying pan for us in our studio and give it a test run. You better behave. Let's start by adding two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. One to tot, we're gonna add in our spring onions. And once those spring onions are dancing, let's add in our rice, break it down into the sauce. Now we haven't added any seasoning. I'm gonna go with salt because I wanna keep that golden color. But if you want a little bit more taste, add in just a little bit of soy sauce. And if you have oyster sauce, add that in too. And it'll taste even better. But today, I'm going for the world's simplest. Maybe one or two pinches of salt. Go, go up high. Beautiful, beautiful. You can give it a quick taste, see if you need more salt. Delicious, very simple. I just added a slight pinch more. Mm. All right, Katie approves. Daniel, you huh? forgot the shrimp. Ah, I'm gonna make that the second version. Oh, <laughs> Upgrade. The second version? Yeah. We're gonna stuff it into a little cup. All right. That should come off pretty easy. Yay. <laughs> Beautiful, right? That golden color. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of black pepper on top. And then, <laughs> yeah, very simple. You can curb your hunger. <laughs> this is almost too simple. I think I need some panchan on the side. I actually went to the mart this morning and they had some fresh kimchi. Wow, beautiful. All right, this plus with this on. Okay, do you want to take a bite? Mm. How is it with the kimchi? So good. Actually, if your friend decided to cancel on you and you're gonna make this fried rice your dinner, let's go for more flavor. This is pretty simple. Yeah, let's do the same thing. Let's mix this up. Spring onions in. To increase the flavor, I love using shrimp. You can use beef, chicken, whatever sort of thing you wanna put in <laughs> fried rice. Chop shrimp. I'm gonna throw in a few that are whole as well. So then let's add in our golden rice. Now, in the previous one, we just did salt and it lies a little bit flat. I need some base. Just add a little bit of soy sauce because I don't want to ruin that golden color. Just a little bit like that. We'll let it dance so that it heats up, gets deeper flair and a touch of oyster sauce. Mix that together. Yeah, and then let's bring everything together. We'll keep stir frying around until there's no more liquid in the pan. This is good. I love it. I'm gonna do a little bit of black pepper. Also, we'll add a pinch of salt to finish off. Mix it around once more. And that's it. Put the shrimp pieces on the bottom. Scoop up the rest. Ah, nice. Yeah, take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, looks so yummy. Wow. wow. Beautiful. Can you see the shrimp? Yeah, take a bite. See what five minute gets you. Mm. Really? Wow. Do you really think it tastes that good? 
because we have our traditional fried rice and if it beats that then I don't know what to say I don't think it'll beat it it's too simplistic let's see let's see guys this is amazing for five minutes guys this first one I really like because I I love this golden color it just makes it so appealing to the eye um, it's very simple, just a little bit of salt for seasoning. And if you have some panchans on the side like kimchi or you fry up something, well now if you're frying up something, it means you're not meeting up your friend. With this recipe, you're not going to win any awards, but uh, it's going to fill your stomach up in less than five minutes. And that was the objective today. Adios.